Why teach your dog tricks? The more you teach your dog, the happier and better behaved your dog will be all the time. Teaching tricks keeps your dog thinking and working for you. It increases their focus and bond with you. Key points. Tricks should always be trained in a purely positive manner. There are no corrections because tricks are all about having fun with your dog. Use tons of praise and rewards. Shake a paw. Put a flat collar on your dog. Ask your dog to sit, then reward them when they sit. Your dog must be sitting with their hips square. Sloppy sits, where they have one hip tucked under them, will not work for this exercise. Ask your dog to shake a paw. Gently pull your dog's flat collar to the left while praising them and watch their weight shift off their front paw. Release the collar and reward them. Ask your dog to shake a paw. Gently pull your dog's collar to the left again and while still pulling on the collar, lift your dog's right paw and say, Good shake a paw! You should be able to easily lift their paw because their weight is off of it. Put the paw down and praise and reward your dog enthusiastically. Repeat this, but this time gently shake your dog's paw while saying, Good shake a paw! After practicing this ten or more times, stop pulling your dog's collar to one side and just ask, Shake a paw and take their paw. Eventually, your dog will offer his paw when asked to shake a paw. If you are training this in an upbeat and positive manner, your dog should be excited to offer you his paw. If your dog is still not offering his paw, you need to go back to step one and be more upbeat and exciting. Wave. Your dog needs to have mastered shake a paw before moving on to the wave. Ask your dog to shake a paw, wave, and reach down to take your dog's paw, but don't touch their paw. Pull your hand back just out of paw reach and say, good wave, as your dog's paw is in the air waiting for you to take it. Most dogs will automatically wave their paw in the air trying to reach for your hand to shake it. This is very important. Your dog will be confused as to why you didn't take their paw and why you're saying wave. You need to praise your dog enthusiastically while your dog's paw is in the air so they know this is the right motion. After repeating this and saying, shake a paw, wave, 20 to 25 times, your dog will understand that wave means to lift their paw, but you are not going to take their paw. Stop saying shake a paw and just ask your dog to wave now. If your dog just lifts his paw but doesn't wave it, you need to be more exciting and reach for their paw to encourage them to extend it to you and move it. Roll over. Ask your dog to lie down and praise and reward. Ask your dog to roll over and then take a treat in your hand. Let your dog smell it and then travel your hand from in front of your dog's nose around to behind their head. Because dogs cannot turn their head backwards, they will roll to one side to follow the treat. Tell them, good roll over, as they roll onto their side. Praise them to continue to follow the treat and they will roll over. When they've completed the rollover, praise them wildly saying, good roll over and give them the treat. If your dog is hesitant to roll onto their side, give them the treat and praise when they relax and roll onto their side. When your dog is more comfortable with rolling onto their side, then continue with the rest of the rollover. Speak. If your dog barks when the doorbell rings or someone knocks on the door, use that to teach your dog to speak. Ask your dog to speak when the doorbell rings or a knock on the door. And then when your dog barks, say, good speak, and praise and reward them. If you practice this a couple times a day, your dog will learn that speak means to bark. If your dog doesn't already bark, try teasing them with their favorite toy. Squeaky toys work great for this. Ask your dog to speak, and then wave the squeaky toy, but don't let them have it. After a minute or two, your dog will become frustrated with not being able to get their toy, and they will bark at you. Say, good speak, and praise and reward them enthusiastically. If your dog still does not speak after trying these methods, then you need to find what triggers your dog to bark and use that to teach them to speak, like the doorbell method. And always remember, have a playtime with your dog after every training session.